Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be talking about the log pose. Let's go. Okay, so the log pose is a form of compass or dial, such, so to speak, and unlike ordinary compasses within the ordinary four C's like the West Blue, North Blue, South Blue and the East Blue, you can obviously use a compass rather easily, but once you're actually in the grand line, the compasses do not work for some reason. This is why you have to use a log pose, and it basically, and the log pose basically attaches itself onto an island's magnetic field. This is when it will point to the next island for you, and then once you have got to that island, you have to wait for it to reset in order to actually gain a log pose. Uh, in order to actually change the log post to its magnetic field which then you can sail off again. If you don't use the log post in that form of way and you try and go with an ordinary compass it will spin around in circles and won't tell you anywhere to go and you, in the grand line you're most probably going to die without a log post. This is where this is why Crocus actually actually explains this to them when they actually first get into the grand line and this guy was the lighthouse keeper and one of the former Roger Pirate. Now obviously no one actually knew at that point that he was a former Roger Pirate but it was nice to actually think about with that. Now going on with the log post, there is other types of log posts that Nami actually uses which has like three log posts attached onto it. But this is usually the case for we're actually trying to navigate the new world and it basically has the same premise of, of a standard log post but had but having like three, it's it's rather it's rather it's I'm guessing it's more or less trying to protect yourself from uh, getting lost and dying. But there are other types of log poses which are called eternal poses, and these ones cannot be changed so easily as an ordinary log pose, as these eternal poses point towards the island in question on which it actually states. So in the anime and the manga there was an actual one for Alabaster and the Alabaster Eternal Pose actually points only to Alabaster so whereas your ordinary compass in real life would actually point towards like north it would actually in One Piece World an Eternal Pose will always point to that island in question that island being Alabaster so they would go to Alabaster so there's obviously Eternal Poses for different types of places and all that jazz. Now Dorian Broggy also had a eternal pose as well and we, when they were actually doing the duel as the winner of that duel would uh, receive the eternal pose for Elbaf. Now obviously Elbaf is in the new world and I would really like to see that at some point but that is, but that is moving along from the question. So tell me what you think about log poses. Do you think everyone should give them up? and just go sailing on an adventure and possibly die? Or would you actually rather just have them? That being the case guys, have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye bye.